Hello everybody and welcome back to Slime Rancher and I am back on the farm again. Um, after, you may have noticed that a bit of time has passed because after last time, oh, okay these hens need to just, just wander around the farm, uh, that'll do you. Uh, after last time I wandered around for a little bit and I found two more Gordos in the Indigo Quarry. So, one of them was another rock. It's hiding in a very, very sneaky place. I'm gonna go feed all these to the warp slimes because I'm probably get running riot right now. I've already lost one of them. So, the other one was a rad one. And luckily I got an Oka Oka in one of those boxes. So what I need to do is maybe turn one of the Kubri fields into an Oka Oka field. And farm them for a little bit so that I can pop this rad slime. There you go guys. Knock your socks off with food. I need to go fill up with a bit more water actually. Lovely stuff. Where's my last one? I'll be around somewhere. There you are. It's hard to tell which ones they are. There's which one is the original sometimes. Ah, oh, really? Come on. Knock, knock it off. Knock it off. Come on. There we go. Have some food. Right, they're all happy now. So I'm going to go and plant my Oka Oka. And we'll see if we've got enough heartbeats to pop the second rock slime. There'll probably just be like another teleporter back to my place. Oh, look at the toy vending machine. It's got all sorts of cool stuff in that I can't get yet. I need to make sure that the heartbeats are not to... Uh, not run out at all. Oh well, if you think that's your toy, then fine. You can have it. See if I care. Right, so one of these needs to turn into an Oka Oka farm. Stop it. You're being a pain now. So I'm going to remove the crop from this one. And get bitten by a cat. Honestly, what happened? Did the chickens run out or something? Grief. Look angry. I need that taming bell. They're being mean to me. I'm at the point where I'm forgetting what half the teleporters do and where they go. What happened to my guys? You had loads and loads and loads of plorts in there earlier. Did you eat them? Probably. I'm not too worried. If I if I need some, I'll start collecting them. <laughs> but if I can get enough of these, I can pop another Gordo, which will be really handy. And then we can find which ones are... I mean, I think I've had all of the ones in the reef, in the, in the dry reef. Some people are telling me that I've not had all the ones from the moss blanket yet. Where did I put my heartbeats? Did I put them here? Yeah. I'll pop a few away because I've got more to take. I know I'm not really doing much feeding at the moment, but I find it really hard to concentrate on one more than one thing at once because I tend to get engrossed and spend all my time. So if I start feeding, then I will start collecting plorts and things like that, and it'll be really annoying. So um, probably quicker to run to the indigo quarry. Mind you, actually, the, the teleporter from the grotto might still be active. Take me straight down there. It would be better if I had, if I could make specific um, teleporters, but at the moment I only have enough of those cool diamond things, strange diamonds, 
um, which I assume is needed to focus them. And I've only got enough of those for one teleporter, so one is what I have. But this was probably, yes, it took me straight to the, the cave there. So the first one that I found, uh, and the only one that we can actually pop right now until the Oka Okas are ready, is, if we go all the way around here, and we go to that like bridge over there and we fly across the bridge took me ages to find this guy that's why time has passed quite a bit since uh, since you last left me if anyone is paying attention to the days that are passing but look how sneaky this is right uh. So sneaky, I can't even fly there. You gotta get up here. Onto this platform. <gasps> no! Come on, let me up. Oh, okay, yeah, up onto this platform. And he's over here. And there's a treasure pod. I didn't even notice that. I was too excited about finding the Gordo. What did we get? Another strange diamond! Oh yeah, another teleporter for me. I'll probably do a teleporter to the ruins though, because we have a couple of tele like natural teleporters to the indigo quarry now. So we're not going to feed him indigonium. We're going to feed him heartbeats. It probably will need a full forty because I haven't touched this one before. Exactly 40, just in case anyone wondered. Half the stuff fell into the ocean though. But that's given us another teleporter. To be honest, these guys aren't worth much. They're just teleportation methods. I'm hoping the rad slime gives us a bit more. Let's see if anything really funky cool comes out of the... I'm pretty much the only thing I'm really... Oh! takes me to where's this this is its own little island well, that's pretty cool and it's got is this the cave with no it's not the cave it's the place with crystal slimes so if I hadn't have found crystal slimes right now, I would have been really excited to find this place. I wonder if it's got any other secrets. Any secret treasure pods? Any secret boxes? There's a secret box there. I'm not that excited by boxes anymore. They don't seem to have an awful lot of cool stuff in them. That one literally had two slimes and a pogo fruit. But we can have a wander around, see if there's anything cool. I think we went in there already. I do like all these cool little islands. They are pretty funky. Uh, if a little dangerous, because they're full of crystal slimes, and crystal slimes are very dangerous. I'm wondering if there's a way up. Or if this is all we've got. Carrots growing there. Uh, can we get up the top or anything? We can certainly get up here, which gives us a better view of, of everything. Don't know if we'll find anything up there. If there's a treasure pod, it would be worth it. Whoa, ledge. Okay. And the ledge we can get up here. Great, okay. Well, there's more up here, okay. 
Oh, there's like a little... You can see down into there. Okay, a little roof light. Oh, and there's a blue treasure pod. Okay, I can't open those yet, but good to know. I'm going to have to explore everywhere that I've already explored looking for treasure pods. You know this. Look. Like that little island that we went to once. Everywhere in the moss blanket and other places. A little stone slime there. This looks like it's leading us somewhere. It's leading us to a box. With an odd onion in it. I oh, don't have enough room for an odd onion. Okay. Everything else I have is better than an odd onion. Yeah. Uh, well, that genuinely looked like it was leading us somewhere. I'm not sure if it was. Oh, we can get up there. Okay. That's pretty cool. Can we go anywhere from there though? Not sure, let's just uh, we'll go over here. Check out if there's anything good over here. Nope. World's most useless island. to check it out though. This is just where I've already been. Let's pop around here. I'll pop around here. May as well just check everything out that I can. Just in case there's something really cool. It'll probably stop me from going on these, yeah. I think the main thing here is that there's like loads of really cool treasure pods um, that I can't open yet, but like when I can, it'll be good. So I think that's the thing with that. So let's uh, see if we can get back to the teleporter. I don't think. Oh, I landed on there! Yay! But yeah, I don't think there's anything particularly great here other than cool treasure pods which will be great when I can open the blue and purple ones but there didn't seem to be any green ones which sucked but yay that was where that one went and we had our, our green treasure pod already so ah, apparently we can just go we could have just gone around there Okay guys, so next time you go there, you can just go down there. You don't have to bother jumping all around there. I'll show you where the other one is, just uh, just anyway, just because I'm feeling generous. Uh, we do need to get some more Oka Okas before we can pop him. But that's not a problem. Oh, there's a treasure pod in the water over there. I think it's blue though. Yeah. Why are they all blue? I'll find all the green ones once I unlock the blue and purple, no doubt. Right, if we just quickly make it past that guy into the cave, then we can go back to the farm and uh, just go and deposit all our ill gotten gains. I'm quite happy to have another strange diamond. It's pretty awesome. So we'll just go up to the science lab and just put them straight in. That was incredibly lucky, I feel. So, when I put that in, I think I'll probably have enough stuff to make another teleporter. But I'm sure I said I had enough. Just needed another strange diamond. Warp tech. 
Yeah, I have enough for blue, but I don't have enough quite for grey. Blue will be fine though. Okay, so I'm thinking I'll pop it down. Put T, yeah. Pop it down here. Store that. Then I'm going to go through the pink one to the moss blanket. Where apparently I have a bunch of apiaries that are ready to harvest. Um, did anything bounce off? Yes. Oh, rats. Let's get rid of something. Well, actually, no, I don't. I can just go back to the science lab. Pop them in and then come back again. That's the wonderful thing about teleporters. Oh, they're out again. But yes, anyway, I'm going to take this teleporter. I'm going to go this way. And try and remember which way we have to go. I think it's this way. here and up here and through here and over here we'll go all the way up to the very entrance of the ruins and we'll pop a teleporter right down there I reckon right down here maybe not quite right down there actually maybe here here would be a nice place actually I can't believe it just bashed me. Oh, I need to find a, a spot, don't I, for it? Might not be able to find a spot. I don't know where the spots are in this place. There is a spot there, okay. Couple of spots around here, but let's uh let's pop him here. And then we can go back and forward to the ruins. And I imagine that there's all sorts of interesting things around here. Something that looks grey over there, oh tabbies. So it's going to be nice to have a teleporter straight into this place. And I know that there's Gordos around here that I haven't found yet. But I never showed you... Oh, I never showed you where the Rad Gordo was, did I? And that's the one we're working on at the moment. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my teleport. Oh, I see it. It's over there. But be careful in this place, you get lost so easily. All full of crazy slimes. So if I wanted to, I could put things there, but I've got so I've got a teleporter to the indigo quarry. No, I don't. I have one down in the uh, in the grotto for that. I have one to the moss blanket, one to the ancient ruins, and then I probably will do one eventually to somewhere in the indigo quarry. In the meantime, get back in your cage. I give them plenty of stuff to eat. So I don't know what they want now. Get back in there. You already lost one of your brothers. One of your brothers became a tar because he got out. I don't even know what plot he managed to find to eat. Honestly. Okay, so let's have a look at the prices, see if anything is crazy prices at the moment. Yes, hunter slimes, hunter plots. Crazy prices on those, 100, 100 each.
happy with that. See how many we got. Shame I never feed them. Well, 54 in there, so that's like five grand. And in fact, I should just, like, like feed them some cubies as well. Because I'll eat anything. Feed them a bunch of cubies. Put a few back in there. Suck those up before they disappear. They're pretty angry. Maybe I should turn up their, their food thing. Maybe when they have food they'll be a bit less feral. They, they seem really angry right now. Good job they're in a pen. I just shoot food straight in there. There you go. And then we'll slow it down. Stop trying to jump out of there! Reef. Right, just put it on slow for now. I'll sell those hunter plots and I think there's some other hunter plots there in the uh, in the tank as well so that'll be a good one and it will be one that I won't have to do too much running around for maybe a couple of trips there's nine in there and I'll see yeah I can't remember how many I thought we did I think we did put some away around here though um, are they? No, they're not Hunter, they're Tabby, I think. Tabby. Nope. And you're in here. Nope. Or Phosphor. So, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Well, that's all we've got. At this point, I, I'm honestly just using the guys in the uh, I'm using the guys out there in the whatever it's called, the overgrowth, as more decoration than anything else. It's so much more efficient farming them in the in their little in their little pens, their little corals. So much better. So much better. Yeah, we'll feed these mint mangoes to these guys. And then I want to see how the ochre, ochre fields and stuff are doing. Because that's what we want to do. We want to see if we can get these rad, um, rad guy sorted out. Collect up all the ochre ochres we can. Right, so there's a good few here. How many have we got? 15, that's not too bad. That'd be a good start. Okay, well what we need to do, we'll pop into the grotto. Do you know what, actually I'll make it morning, because we've, we've sold our plots now. So it'll be a bit easier if we can see what we're doing. Okay, so, turn to punch. Um, let's go. Actually, let's see what the next reward is, if we can. I don't think we can afford it, though. It is 32,500 to get the Salamander and the Royalton Chromas. Okay. That's getting expensive now. Not beyond my reach expensive, but still expensive. So we'll go and feed a few Ocker Ockers to this rad slime. I'll show you where he is and stuff. And then maybe next time we'll have a look and see if we can find some ones in ancient ruins. Right now, let's pop through the teleporter. And that should take us into here. Yes, it does. Right. 
So there might be other ways to get to this, but this is the way I found it. I went up here. And I sort of followed this around. Whee! I think you can get to this bit the other way, but I think this is the quickest. So you go down here. And then look at, look straight to the right. And there's these like crystals. And then you can come round here. And he's in here. How cool is that? So I feed him a bunch of his liked foods. Be careful of his radiation. I'll feed him a few heartbeats as well. I'll keep some just in case. So he's had 15 of his favourite foods and then 9 of his non-favourite foods. So that's, well, was it 6 or something? So that's probably equivalent to about like 20. So I probably need about 20, maybe a little bit more of the ok ockers again. I'm just going to run all the way back. So that's where to find him, but I don't know what's going to happen when we pop him. Will be an interesting experiment. Get away from all these horrible tar. I'm actually getting the impression that um, a water cannon might be a useful thing to make in certain areas like that that always seem to get tars. Whee! And we're back on the farm, and lots of them look really angry because they have no food. I'm just busy guys, I'm sorry. I can't do everything at once. I've got these gordos to feed, they take lots of food. Okay, got some more mint mangoes. Meow. Meow. Yeah, I'm just looking for the next crop or two of, of Oka Okas and we'll see what we can do with that. Oh, mint mangoes everywhere. It's flying around the place now. Okay, I gave a bunch to the warp slimes. They should not be through those by now. So we'll start feeding these to these guys. And then... Any cubes we find, we'll go and feed to the guys in the grotto. Because they look pretty hungry. And I do have to keep looking after my farm, no matter what. Okay, so we're out of cubies there. Actually, I have one in my inventory, so we'll just restock. Okay, okay so we've got a few more. Cool. So another five. I'm looking for about another 25. Um... Oh good, good. We lost all of our stuff. But yeah, doesn't the grotto look nice now? It's got new trees. It's got a new platform, a new viewing platform up here. It might be the upgrade that's actually lost me all the farming. I don't know. Lovely new trees. Lovely new flowers. All looks really nice, doesn't it? Much more lush. Okay, let's go and see if we can find uh, something to seed the cubery trees with, because they got a little bit messed up there. As did the heartbeats, so let's just reseed those as well. Oh, that's Oka Oka. Oops. Well, I suppose that'll help us uh, in our quest to get more Oka Okas for the rad slime. Which is never a bad thing. So I'll stick the heartbeats in there again. And I'll keep the Oka Okas in. No, actually, I'll put the Oka Okas in here. We'll store them. And then when we have enough, we'll go and take them over to the Rad Slime. But I wanted to show you where he was anyway. And we can reseed the Cubris with those. Always good to keep a little stock of food handy. Okay, 
The amount of times I didn't early on though, it was really, really bad. Cuba, Cubery, Cubery. I think that path might be new as well. There's also a hologram there. Can't remember whether this was already read out. I think it probably was, but uh, I built this area myself by spreading soil from the moss blanket all over the ground just to see what would happen. I was hoping it would attract a hunter slime or two, but no such luck. Maybe I need to get some of them big mushrooms to grow here instead. They sure seem to like hanging out around those things. That was a good day. Uh... Yeah, it's a whole like viewing platform that they built up there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Bits of decking and, and wood and paths and... I don't know if that that looks a bit neater, like as if someone's purposely put steps up there, whereas I don't know if before it was quite as neat as that. I can't quite remember. Still quite cool. But anyway. And it's got a nice gate now as well. Gate's been well upgraded. I need to make more money, and I need to get more Oka Okas, and I need to wait for everything before anything's ready. Prices are all pants, except for rad slime prices. They're not too bad. But they're still going up, so I'm gonna sleep through the night. And see if everything that I need to grow and all that sort of thing is done by morning. I think I've still got full plot collectors, possibly. Yeah. We're full on the old rock slimes. Let's check the prices this morning, see how they have changed. Um, it looks like the rad slimes are still going up in price a lot. The phosphor's starting to come up, which is good. Mm, rock has gone down. Rock's at 48 and it's on its way down. I might sell rock today. That might be my thing to sell. Try and sell the thing that I feel is the highest price each day. And we will soon be at our goals. Of selling cubries. Okay. I'll see if I can buy the next colours and see if I can at least tell you what the next uh, proper upgrade is. I don't count the colours as proper upgrades. They're just colours. They don't count. I think I had another hundred or so rock plots elsewhere. Uh, I'm not sure. But eventually I'm going to run out of things to buy. This can't go on forever. You know it and I know it. And the slimes know it. Let's go sell those guys. And we'll sell the next lot of rock slime there, rock plots. And then I think that might be the end of the episode at that point. Um but I will just very quickly check if we've got enough ock ockers to go and pop the rad slime and we'll quickly go and do that if we can. Uh, we've got loads of rock loads of rock plots. Sorry guys, this might take a little bit longer. I try it and be as fast as I can. Whee! Last lot from over there, hopefully. I think there might be some in the silo in the main part of the base. Of the ranch, sorry. It's not a base, it's a ranch. I love that they sound like glass. That's pretty cool. Okay, so get these sold. 
We might end up with enough to get the next 7Z upgrade. Twenty-one, twenty-two, ten gram more. Might have that somewhere. Another fifty there. And then do we have some more in here? I had a feeling we did, but we might not. Oh another fifty there, okay. And another hundred there, okay. 200 more to sell. That shouldn't take me more than a couple of minutes. We jump over the, tro the trophy. We, uh, my slime ranching trophy. Okay, one more trip. Ah, that's dangerous over here. No. One more trip from this silo. Two more trips from that pen there. And we're done today's sales. This is a bit better managed now I feel. The puddle plots should be sold soon but uh, I'm happy to leave them because they don't tend to accumulate very much because I don't ever collect them. So I never have that many so I'm gonna wait for them to be a really good price. So I grab those two more and then we'll quickly go and see how many ocker ockers we can feed to the rad slime and the rad, the rad gordo slime actually and uh, I think we might have enough to do this upgrade as well and that'll be a pretty action-packed episode then as action-packed as slime actually really gets Okay, I think that's it. Oh, we don't quite have enough. We do not quite have enough. It's okay though. We'll do that a bit next time. So let's go and have a look for our cockers. We've got two fields of them now. So we should, I reckon we'll have enough. An odd there and some are coming out of the ground. It's 19 just from this field. It's fine because I, I can just feed them to the rad slimes and then we'll go back to doing cubberies. That'll be plenty plenty enough to pop him I think. Right so to the grotto I forget where that one no that one goes down to the bottom of the dry reef doesn't it we're just one back here goes all the way to the indigo quarry to remember where these things go sprint because life depends on it right there we go and here through here Wait for my stamina to regen. I wonder what all that shininess was. It was a treasure pod that I'd opened earlier. Why can't they shine like that normally? They always hide. This should be plenty because we've already fed him once. Out in his cave. Hello. Right, so I'm getting radiation just from being even close to him at the moment. Um, Got quite a bit of radiation poisoning there. 
Um, I'm going to suck everything up. Because it's easier than getting all the radiation poisoning. They're eating everything. I got a slime key. Yes. I don't need that cubery. Yes. So next time. We're going to go to the ruins. I'm going to open that other door. Because that's the last door that I know about. And then... Uh, We'll muck about in the ruins to see if we can get any more. This, that's all the Gordos I have found here so far. There might be others. There might be. Uh, I don't know. I think that's likely that I've got them all. Because I did have a really good look. I've pretty much left no stone unturned. So let's get back to the farm. Because... Uh, just because I'm practically there already now. And I shall let you go because I have taken enough of your time up. So that is the end of the episode for today. We got loads of progress done. We got um, the Brad Slime Gordo popped. And he gave us a key. So we can open one more door. Um, as I say, we'll have to go to the ruins. I, I remember seeing a Boom Slime in the ruins. So we'll need to... While we're doing our farming and our slime science, although I should need to pick up all my slime science machines as well because they'll all be ready to burst. Um, while I'm doing all my farming, I'll be trying to pick up some chickens and trying to fill as much as I can with chickens and then we'll find the boom slime, we'll feed them loads of chickens and then hopefully he'll pop. I'm just going to get every chicken off the map I can, probably, actually. And then we'll go take them to him. He'll pop. And I don't know what I don't know what a boom slime gives you. I don't know if you get more keys or what, but I'm quite happy to have a key at the moment because I know there is a door that I have not opened. So I will be dead chuffed to do that. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Slime Rancher, then please subscribe and I can let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.